Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and welcome to another episode in our PC Masterclass series. Today we're talking about front panel headers or front panel connectors, whatever you want to call them. It's basically the point of where all of your buttons and connectors meet up with your motherboard, where they connect into it. And there's various different kinds as you can see in front of me. Now the main one when we talk about main sort of front panel connectors are going to be your reset button, your reset switch, hard drive LED, and sometimes even LEDs for the power button, reset button. They really can sort of stem across multiple different connectors. For the most part with a chassis like this from Cooler Master, you will find probably about four or five different connectors. So going through them, you can see we have a reset switch, we have a hard drive LED, we have a power switch, and then we have two individual ones for the power LED. Sometimes these will actually be uh, joined as opposed to having two separate ones, but for the most part, you will find there will be two separate ones, depending on sort of looking at the motherboard pin layout and things like that, they can get a little bit different. Um, it's one of them sort of things that I guess I kind of wish motherboard manufacturers had an industry standard, but sometimes they do differ, especially when you're looking at older hardware compared to today. Now, when you put these on, you will notice that some of them do have a plus or minus on there. So the power LED does have a plus and the power LED does have a minus. So when you look at your motherboard and refer to your motherboard manual, you'll easily be able to see which one goes on where. Now, some of them don't, which can be a little bit confusing. So the hard drive LED has the plus and minus. So straight away, when you're putting it on your board, you'll know exactly where it's going to go whereas the reset switch and the power switch don't. But an easy indication is when you flip it over, there is actually a little arrow. Now this is pointing to the positive or the plus. So it's easy to sort of see from there which way up it needs to go. Sometimes the text will be facing up, sometimes the text will be facing down. Now what some motherboard manufacturers have actually done and something I really am um, sort of, you know, I'm, I'm quite, I quite admire them for doing is having a connector. So this is one here. We, we've basically got this one from a gigabyte board, which we do have in this system. Now they call it the G connector. Other people call it the Q connector. Whatever it is, it still does serve the same purpose. So on here, you can see that we have an area for the speaker, power, power LED, and flipping it around, we have hard drive, reset, uh, chassis intrusion and also power LED again. Now what this allows you to do is actually put everything in outside of the chassis so that when you actually come to put it onto your motherboard, it's just one easy uh, sort of swoop with that. So reset switch, we can find our reset switch here, make sure the plus and minus add up and just simply slot it into the connector. Once that's in, you can continue with the next ones and the next ones and then you can just simply put this onto your motherboard. Now, coming away from the sort of front panel headers, we do have some more which involve our USB, which can really only go in one way because it has got a blocked off pin. This goes onto your motherboard as well. We have a HD audio, which is a slightly different pin out with one of the pins blocked towards the middle. And then also our USB 3 or USB 3.1 connector, which does have a little notch on there. So when plugging that onto your motherboard, it can only obviously go one way as well. So hopefully, you know, these ones are probably the simplest ones and the one that I went through to start with is probably your slightly more complex, but I'm hoping that that actually gives you a bit more of an idea as to how easy it can be to install either directly onto the motherboard or using a connector like the G connector I've got here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. Subscribe, click the bell icon. Give us a comment below as well. Let us know, do the PC Masterclass videos help you in any way at all? If they do, we'll carry on making them. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. See you later.